Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at uh, another algorithm in our array series called window sliding technique. All right. This is a very popular algorithm uh, asked in many interview problems. All right. So uh, this video is going to be very important. All right. Now um, we look at a problem based on window sliding technique, and in between, I tell you like how this technique is applied. And why is it like more favorable than the like brute force approach? Okay. So the question is the question here is maximum sum of k consecutive elements. All right. So what we are uh, what we have to do here is like we are given an array, we are given k. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to find the sum of k consecutive elements and get the maximum one. So the k consecutive elements could be these three elements. These three elements, these three elements, these three elements, right? So you will find the sum of every three, and uh, you uh, return the maximum one. Okay. Now there are like two approaches. What we can do is we can use a for loop where i is going to be from zero till uh, this part. Oh. All right. Now there is another one, J, which is going to run from I plus one till J. All right. So what this means is for this element, you're going to have this part. J will run from I plus one to in here. And for um, this is going to be uh, i minus k. Okay. Um, something is wrong here. The j part would run obviously from i plus 1 for self suppose it would run for this part till what element j is going to run for um, j is going to run for um, yeah it is going to run for i minus k all right you can like you can reduce it is going to run for, for this element at the end of the element or like if the k is bigger than for like more elements, all right. So, what will the time complexity here? It is going to be big of over square, right? So, what we are deciding technique do is that uh, this technique like um, shows how nested loop and uh, problems can be converted to a single for loop to reduce the time complexity. So, you have to solve this question big O of n time and for that window sliding technique is going to help us okay so um, what happens in window sliding technique is we are going to have a um, variable cursor which is going to have value of first uh, sum of first three elements these three elements it is going to be what um, 39 all right now what we are going to do is we are going to run a loop for i from um, k plus 1 till i less than n and i plus plus all right and what is going to happen here is we are going to have cursum as cursum plus Cursum as cursum plus um, array i minus array um, i minus k. So what this means is that now see our i our i is k plus one. Suppose i is here. So what is going to happen is we are going to remove this element. I'm going to add this element now sum is what 33 but 
same 33 less than 39 we are not going to change our cursor in the next iteration we are going to delete this element and add this part it is 45 so obviously 45 is greater than 39 so we'll change the value here as 45 now the next element what would happen um, we'll remove this part we are going to add um, 27 here and the uh, sum is going to be what 22 22 is uh, less than 45 obviously so cursor would remain 45 now i would um, become equal to n we'll return we'll come out of this loop and we are going to return this sum this is the output here all right so this is what we do in window sliding technique that means we slide the whole window by or we slide the whole window by the by part doesn't matter because it depends on the question okay now um let you have understood the algorithm how this question like how the algorithm is going to work so uh, yeah you may like pause this video and try to solve and try to code the whole uh, Question. I try to code the whole code on your own. Okay. Now let me tell you how to do this one. Okay. Think to the size a little bit. Okay. Let's add the other file in std. Let's write the main function first of all. What is our array? 1830. 1830. 5, 27. KR, K is 3. And N is going to be 6. Okay. Now and um yeah so this is um six, right okay and okay so this is basically done here now we are just going to simply see out case sum case sum is a function which will return you maximum sum of key one zero two elements this will include a r k n now let's make our case sum function. We could have int arr, int k, int n. Okay. Now we have a cursor as zero. We're going to have Okay. So we have a res which should contain the resultant and initially we are going to have it as, as equal to cursor. Now we are going to have a loop from k. Alright. And cursor is going to be what cursum plus arr i and arr i minus k okay easy and yes one more thing our res would become either of max of uh, res or cursum okay I just we are just going to have it under res here. There is some error here. And much are all right. This is this was the error. Okay. So yes, this is the code. Let's um, try and run it.
67 Erase is marks of um, res and res. We are simply going to return res. Initially, res is our um, equal to cursor. And cursor is okay. <laughs> did it wrong is this thing. Right? Obviously, this is going to be k. I find the sum of its k elements. Now let's enter in this code. 45. All right, this was the expected output. Right, and yeah, this was all for this code. I hope you have understood like what window sliding technique is. And in the next video, we are going to look at another problem based on the window sliding technique algorithm. And we are doing we are going to do that question on our Geeks or Geeks portal, which is where we have to like write the function and like what we did in the previous video. Okay, and yeah, that's it for this video. And I am going to end this lecture for today and see you later. Thank you.